Having that backlash. There's a loading screen to where you fall on your face. Uh -huh. I just witnessed this dude show up in an album oh. and fell on his face. Yeah, I think that's part of the. I believe that's part of the battle path. Yo yo. That might be a battle. Oh, that's a uh, battle supply shop item. If you get 27 supply coins, you can then buy that, and it's called uh, the spawn is called Wrong Direction. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, I already did. I'll send you another one. Ah, so that's where I can get uh, Vesa's crow body skin. Part of the frickin' battle supply store. Jesus Christ, I need to hit level 96 of the battle pass to be able to get her skin? That is insane. 96, the skin for the gun? No, the skin for the body skin for Vesha that I like. I have to almost max level on the battle pass to be able to get it. To get any of the fucking first first page items, you need to hit level fifty, which is just fun. <clears throat> All right, goodies leader now. I see that. Guess to where we need to go. Mm-hmm. 
Seriously, there's no others? Really? Actually, fuck that. Uh. Mm, excuse me. cleaning out my inventory because of all of my bullshit that I don't want no more, so. I gotcha. Well, so my, my current invent space is, uh, 94, or 96 items. Damn. Yeah. One thing you gotta love about hitting mastery levels is each level increases your inventory space by a set amount. So that's great. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the little secret down there. One of these, yay! I love these missions. So great. I love having to kill shit, run over, grab an item, and run back. Gotta love getting those fucking. Those three chevron ones. Oh my god. Giving fucking 20. I actually saw a four one. Aww. Yeah, there's a four stack apparently. Oh. Because I know the single chevron gives, I think, five. The double, I believe, is ten. It should be like 5, 10, 15, 20. Well, that's the thing is the 3 chevron is the one that gives 20. So it has to be, I think, like 5, 10, 20. And I don't know what the 4, the four chevron gives because I haven't seen one. Uh, I think it was like, like 440. Because uh, I turned in one. Player turned in another, and we were pretty much all already done. <laughs> Yay, more poopy gear that I can dismantle and get. Uh, oh, what's this over here? Oh, this is a single hey, chevron. Scrap, scrap. 
I'm just gonna stop grabbing, stop grabbing the single chevrons because uh, they're not really worth it. Mm -mm. I usually try to grab like double chevrons and higher because they give an actual reasonable amount. Yeah. Drop me your stuff, my god. Uh. Just in the meantime of that happened, I'm gonna finish up my skitty. Another fucking single, another single. Jesus. Man's tried. Come on. That. Was a three? Ooh, triple Chevy. Let's go. There's a double over there as well. This is actually us helping to upgrade my uh, ninety. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, this is the final one. Uh, he wants to do the final, final thing. We've got a, got a double chevron right here, which is ten, which will finish. I guess go ahead and do it. There was a melee guy behind you, but when the mission ended, oh, I okay, 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 okay. Oh, goody. Uh, to empty out your inventory, hit the start button. And then whatever gear that you have on the side, make sure that you have a better version of what you want. Especially mm -hmm. one that raises the particular stat that you want to see. And then when you're looking at your garbage ones that you don't need, hit right trigger. And go ahead and select all the ones that are Oh, the R2. Yeah, part two. Yeah. I usually try to keep gear in my invent, because right now I think my highest level gear is 56, so I'm trying to stay like uh, maybe three levels behind in weapons, maybe two. So anything less than, for me, it would be like maybe 54, 53 ish is where my cutoff is. Unless it's yeah, all, unless it's ultimate weapons, I'll keep those regardless, because I can just bring those up to my level. Yeah, normally anything three levels and below, I just get rid of. At that point, it's not really worth keeping unless you have a weapon you really like, because you can bring it up to your level when we go back to Albion. Yeah. Well, even going into one of the, the save havens that has the weapon mod bench. Yeah, that too, yeah. Any of the outposts. But then again, not sure if he's got high enough mastery to do that, because you have to craft a item to do that. Yeah. Glay. It's a nice glay. Necro Priestess. What a. Oh, that's. Yep. Of course. Seems like, seems like one of them meta glaze. All I see is the. Oh, I can't play the game strategically like it's supposed to play, so let me break it. Um, speaking of breaking, isn't Risk of Rain 2 cross plat? I honestly can't remember. Because that would be a fucking fun game to play together.
Super Screen 2 is not cross platform. Well, it's not cross platform. Anime uh, Beach? Which means because. Although Risk of Rain 2 cross play is unavailable currently up to. Four. Okay, yeah, so. They just can't link up with. Okay, yeah, so yeah, it's. It's, it's not a cross problem. Well, I don't know, it's. Just. I don't know that. What are we doing? Hi there, big boy. How you do? Thank you for the code analyzer. Nice. Pick it up. Hi. Security system has been reduced. Two generators remain. <clears throat> yeah, space. It sucks for me right now because I want to snipe and use a sniper rifle, but I found a shotgun that does almost sixty thousand DPS. So. Oof. Yeah. Why not do a shotgun and sniper rifle duo? I believe shotguns and snipers use the same ammo type, so it would be counterintuitive. Damn. I could run a marksman and a shotgun, but I don't really like... I want a nice, even... beefy, fucking sounding sniper, though. Even that right there, just having the ammo types being different, makes it so much strategic on what weapons you want to use. Yeah, having both shotguns and snipers using the same ammo is actually pretty damn smart. I mean, if they were running different ammo types, I would most definitely be running a shotgun and sniper. But they both use uh, high power, so... This is the last generator. Keep going, Descendant. The only thing I can think that can go against it will be a, like an ammo conversions, like what a uh, Warframe has. Uh, yeah, because uh, the sniper I probably would be running right now would be my different three, which does 46,603. Okay, so if I actually go into the actual mod, into what modules I have on, and it does 63,242, but then if I go into my shotgun, 89,493. So, uh, yeah. Shotgun does about almost double the damage, basically, of my, of the sniper I want to use. Yeah, if you want to truly find out what the actual damage per second of your weapon is and you have mods on it, mm. you just open up and look at the mods on it and then you look over on the left and it'll show you how much actual damage, what the actual DPS of your weapon is. So where exactly? Look right under your gun on the left. DPS of your line of blue main is 21,806. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, if, you, if you look under the weapon, you'll see the DPS, and then to the right of that, you'll see what ammo type it is. But you can already tell what ammo type it is, because it shows right the there. Symbol. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like, hey, okay, go back to your infant and actually look at your, like, Target yeah, it's weird, because if you actually look at the three weapons in just the pause screen, like, mine is Zaystra's, does 28,864, as it shows on the card. I go into the mm -hmm. module settings, though, it actually does 36,412. Huh. So, you, if you want to know the actual... 
DPS of your weapon, you have to actually open up the modules. The module screen and check it. If you have any mods on your weapon. Ooh, nice. I, I love uh, that fucking hand cannon so much. The Assassin's Edge. It is such a fucking... Mm, it is a beautiful hand cannon. I love it so much. I, I actually did use it for a while because it did better than the, uh, the scout rifle that I had. Yeah. I mean, the only weapons that are going to be slower, or I guess less damage than really anything you have is going to be handguns. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh. check out this scout rifle. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen a scout rifle be able to do this. You watching? Uh, hold on. E? I'm just gonna hold the trigger. Oh yeah. They're full auto in this. Which I absolutely fucking love that. But you can you can still tap fire it though for more accurate uh, oh, yeah. fire. I tap fire it. But I just accidentally held on to it just for too long and I noticed that it just started rapid fire and I'm like, what yeah. the fuck? Yeah, welcome to uh, the full auto marksman rifles of first descendant. I mean, it's the same with handguns. Handguns are full auto. I didn't fuck around with handguns all that much, to be honest. They're actually more like machine pistols, not handguns, so... Fair enough. As you could tell from me, if I already mine. I do want to fix that ADS. 26,167 on my last dagger. I almost made that. Uh... Nope. Nope. Huh. Ah, found it. Option. Uh, da, 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 da. Controller. Bogus reinforcements detected. Internal facilities destroyed by Germany. Better. Yeah, I think really the only, I think the main reason you would run a pistol is because A, it gives you the highest sprint and uh, you could move it the fastest while ADSing with the pistol. Mm. I believe also the time to weapon swap with the pistols faster. Of course they got mods that can also change the uh, switching over. Yeah, the weapon nice. change speed. Yeah, this game is so much better if you don't have aim assist on, especially if you're trying to snipe. Did, did you ever notice? Did you ever notice when you're trying to snipe, it always wants to lock to the torso? Oh yes, absolutely. Yeah, me and uh, Namikaze found that out, and after that, we immediately took it off. Assist. Oh. In 
Okay, as much as I love it, it really fucks you up when you're trying to snipe. Yeah, because you can miss that headshot that would kill the target. Yeah, you get well, a couple shots and, then, and then at that point you're also missing out on damage if you can't hit the headshot. Yeah. So. You've got it, Descendant. I mean, I My biggest why... conflict was uh, whenever I was fighting um, one of the void bosses, Frost Bitch, mm -hmm. where her weak points were on her gun, but mm -hmm. my rifle kept adjusting towards her chest whenever I was trying to pop them. Yep. I mean, it helps if the big fucking colossus you're fighting has a weak point on their chest, but other than that, it's... it's... it's just it's more of a hassle trying to get them fucking crit hits. Yeah. I do know that she had weak points on her shoulders and mm -hmm. her machine gun bouncing towards her chest was actually just fine. Next mission. <laughs> what is uh, the quickest way to raise up my mastery? Uh, I mean, basically, what you're doing now, just using new characters, using weapons you haven't used before, mm. and then just basically just. Mission. I mean, missions give some mastery, but easiest way to do it is just use weapons you haven't used before, and then use lower level uh, descendants. Enough. Hey, it's gonna suck for me because once I get my Sharon and my Bunny max level, I'm basically done on all four of my descendants so i'm gonna have to go and work towards a uh wait where'd it go work towards getting a new descendant i was doing the operation ah, see. yeah and i'm i'm thinking my next descendant i'm gonna work towards getting is gonna be enzo Okay. So, this is the so, like I said, uh, if you ever wanted to jump on my account to play as, uh, as Blair and, uh, uh Kyle, you can. I don't mind. Somehow made their way to Ingress. They were first discovered by the Architects. The Iron Hearts were passed down to the Ancestors, my creators, and the forebears of the Descendants. We don't know why the Ancestors hid all the Iron Hearts. This much is certain. I was created. Hey, Dad. Oh, that was my Nazar Strauss. Once we find you an Ironheart. It's cooking time. Forgot that I spun in holding my Nazar Strauss. We got frosty. Oh, did you get the, uh, the sword melee attack yet? Uh, me, yeah. I have it equipped right now, actually, I believe. Yep. Uh, I have another one that I do want to end up using at some point, but I need to level it up first. I'm not going to it? give it away, though. Nope, nope, you're not, ah. nope, nope. Of no. Course. Headshot those for the kill assassin's edge. Isn't that the whole thing about the assassin's edge? Is the uh, the crit shots? Uh, I honestly don't even know. I just kind of like the look of it. So and that's the whole reason to why I ran it for a while is because I just love the look of the assassin's edge. These are traces of Ironheart excavation. Ironheart microparticles confirmed. Initiating emergency restoration protocols to repair damaged systems. 
descending. We have retrieved Arnhart elements from the excavation site. Next, find us. Oh, you guys can go fuck right off. Oh, no. Jesus. This wasn't just an excavation site. I need to interface with the quantum monolith, a data processor belonging to mm -hmm. the ancestors. Oh. This device contains my you missed the doorway. Yep, I looked down at my phone for three seconds. That's why you don't look at your phone while gaming. I have my chat open. I have no choice. I mean, I can't say much. I have a laptop in front of me, but I usually I have the screen down on it so I don't get distracted by it. Like, I don't have it fully closed, I just have it so I can't really... Oh, I got a red mod from here. Cold snap watch. Oh, that seems like a... However, to access the quantum monolith... This mod is cold snap watch. Watch. It creates a cold snap zone in front that remains for a certain period of time. I should snap it, as it was my system and memory. shack once... Oh! Oh! That might be fun to run. Who's mod? It's for, uh, Vaisha, uh, uh, Ice Bitch. I currently only have Void Domination for my Sharon, but I mean, it's not really... I guess it does increase the targeting range of my Flash... Flash Short Sword and increases the enemy targeting speed, but I... I currently don't have the uh, capacity to run it right now, so... Try to be cool. Top or not? Those are the ones now. Down below. That's right. Cast fireball. As an excavation site, there must have been countless experiments conducted here using the iron hearts. Emergency restoration protocols would have been one of them. Should be pulling y'all in now. Yeah. Oh. 
That's a beach. You sure about that? Yeah. Are you sure it wasn't me stealing it with my revolver? I am sure. Love fighting this boss so much. No one can Which one was this one? Oh, you? Fireball. Let's take now. At least click the fire. We just made bros suffer. Oh yeah, that's right, we're gonna use some things. Got his ass. Assassin's Edge. Frostmod? No, Mother Yak. No, I don't even have a Frostmod. That's uh, fine. I'm back to normal anyway. <laughs> Mm -hmm. No. That's just 
to fear for I am here. heard anything about the uh, Baldur's Gate 3 mods that console is going to be getting soon? Nope. Damn. <clears throat> I'm going to be so pissed if one of the mods that we get is where you can change the gender of your character whenever, or like at the mirror. I am going to be so pissed. After we spent how long? Two, three, something hours. Yeah. But the thing I'm also questioning is like, if we do end up wanting to do a modded run, do we start fresh? Um, I guess it would just depend on the mods. Well, I mean, like, honestly, for example. Like, for, like, well, okay, here's my thing, is like, we're already how far in? Midway. Yeah, Maybe we're a like... less than that. Yeah. We're about midway through the story. I would rather continue this one vanilla. Because as much fun as it modded. would... Yeah, basically, because I mean, at that point, like... Once we complete the story, we... Basically just have side missions to do. At that point. Yeah. So I would much prefer to finish off the game vanilla, and then... Come back to mods. And then, then, yeah, find mods that we want, and then... Oh, he says he's stuck. Where's he at? Oh, he must be good. Yeah, yeah, you're really stuck, huh? Well, he's probably stuck a hot minute ago. Space. There were mm. two resource boxes here that he was stuck by, and he could have just simply shot one of them. Which he probably oh. did. Uh, I did it. I shot them. Well, we know we gotta be nice to our goody. <laughs> yeah, we have to be. We have to be nice to the newbie. Gosh. Also, be careful not to antagonize him because if he wanted to, he can outplay both of us. You got this, goody. Oh, uh, sorry, was that your kill? 
I'm sorry. Why? He, he kind of hit me. Just chilling there. I mean, I understand that, but still. Oh, he says that you couldn't shoot or anything. Oh, weird. Uh, oh, I'm good. Goody can do this. I'm just gonna sit and watch. I fucking hate this. <laughs> oh, there's I... one of them I came across in the new region that, uh, the dude that was joining with me kept falling. Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> Okay, that's, that's... Stop pissing me off. Oh. The thing I hate about this the most is that it's timed. Mm -hmm. I just hate doing them, so... I mean, it's not very understandable. And I kind of enjoy watching other people do these and fail, because they're just so much fun. How did that not grab me? <sighs> My biggest problem with these is the grapple not grappling. Uh, that's just the game's fault. <laughs> Uh, just watching Goody jump and then try to grapple out to a platform twice while he's falling to his death is fucking beautiful. <laughs> that was enjoyable. <laughs> you're just over there going, yes, suffer, use your hatred. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh. Saved. All right, next one. I have the materials so I can bring my thunder cage up to level. All right, I'm gonna get the rest of my spaghetti. My spaghetti. Mm. Oh yeah, so, uh, my son does have a appointment to go to, so I will be able to play, uh, before I go to work. <laughs> so I'll probably fuck around for a little bit longer, and then I'll probably head off for the night. Because, uh, depending on how the morning goes as well, I may be taking my daughter to school. Mm -hmm. well, well, I took both of them to school, uh, technically today, but yesterday, uh, because one of them had decided to, or both of them decided to wake up at 2, one decided to stay awake till 4, and then the other at 5. Mm -hmm. trying to fuck me up, are they? Mm -hmm. I'm doing a good job, so...
enough for me. One thing I wished I had now is Parmesan cheese. Just threw a fireball at dude and he just melted. Mm-hmm. Ben's fault. Alright, where's your next? Probably... What, Albion, maybe? I think that was the last one. <gasps> I think. But minus movement speed. 15% extra bullets? But you lose movement speed. That's not bad. Arm attack, weak point damage. Oh, I need to attack. Oh, I already got that one anyway. That should be an attack. I don't see a thing. I uh, probably gotta go to Albion then. That's probably gonna have a quest and then probably gonna fight a Void Boss. That should be an attack. That'll be fun. Get 10 more to put in. Oh my god! Uh... Can't do mods while we're in the field, right? You can only do that Albion. Uh, mods. No, you can mod while anywhere. You just can't change uh, descendant. No upgrade. Oh yeah, that's only at Albion. Yeah, mods can only be upgraded or enhanced in Albion. Gotcha. No, I will be honest. Playing this is kind of giving back an itch for Warframe. Yeah. Only because of its similarities. I don't even want to touch fucking Warframe again. I'm done with this fucking 20 bajillion fucking hour craft, you know? Well, I didn't necessarily have a problem with the crafting. I mean, I think the longest one that I had seen whenever I did was seven days. Yeah, seven days to craft a weapon. You heard that right. And that's seven real world days. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah, it's been seven days to craft a weapon. Come yeah, it's been, do, 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 you, uh, do you remember the intervention from Call of Duty? Intervention? Yeah, the sniper. Uh... The most iconic fucking Call of Duty sniper rifle ever. Not off the top of my head. Okay, hold on, I need... Mm.
You gotta remember, I'm I'm a vet compared to those things. Beauty of a fucking. I sent you a picture of what the intervention from Call of Duty looks like, and tell me that this fucking... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay, I know Tell me about. it. Okay. This fucking sniper rifle I'm holding doesn't look like that. We're too late. It's got hell of similarities to the fucking intervention. Oh, uh, step, step right here. Recent experiments. It's not a little ideal, further. A little further. Like, just fucking tell me this thing doesn't have similarities to the fucking... I believe it's actually the... what's the actual name of it, cause I... Uh, I, I see what you're seeing, and it's because of the, uh, the scope and the stock. Yeah, yeah the, the scope and the stock is what makes you think of that. Ah, yes, there it is. The Shytag M200 Intervention is what the actual sniper is, uh... Is what the real-life sniper, or I guess the real-life variant of the Intervention from Modern Warfare is. Mm -hmm. Waiting to see an enemy so I can just fucking literally fucking blow them away with this thing. Stop. Be gone, fault. Oh, this is. It is uh, what I like to call the thought be gone rifle. The energy extracted from the was injected into the Vulcus submerged in the Kuiper solution. A nice fucking beefy sound over too. That's why there were iron heart particles in the wastewater. But died. One of the experiment chambers is empty. Also, by the way, snipers are the only gun in the game that actually have uh, enemy penetration. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Haven't seen any haven't seen anything else that can penetrate through one enemy and hit another one. Other than the good old fashioned snipper riffle. Next mission. Oh, he got big cannon. I have big cannon as well. I can't see fucking Jack Shack. Here's my big cannon. Not gonna fire it. There. Hey guys, fucking rocket launcher. Yeah. Also, good he left. He left. Oh, he lagged I... out. Oof. I guess Oof. we broke his game. Uh, it wasn't me. That was you firing your fucking 20 bajillion fucking rockets into the ground, so. It was seven. It was pretty fucking smoky. 
I couldn't see fucking jack shit in front of me after those went off, so... <laughs> Oh, you know what? Sorry, it was, uh, it was Nightbot. It was Nightbot's fault. Yeah, Nightbot just chose violence. Yeah. Oh, he's- it pulled him off off. Jesus Christ. I just tried sending him an invite and he's like, player is offline. I doubt it was me, there's no way. I only shot once. I call a bull schnoodly. <laughs> yeah, so it, it was just a coincidence when you shot. It, he just yes. lagged out. Pure coincidence, right? Yeah. I mean, you fired, what, seven? Yeah. Just so happened that my eighth one, I guess, must have been the one that really fucking did her in. Yep, one round causes this game to lag. Mm hmm. Well, I guess it's time to. Sick. Oh! Thanks, uh. Well, I do have, uh, the ERC the ASA installed. I decided to hate my life and reinstall it. Reinstall the what? ASA. ASA? Arc Survival Ascended. Oh, wow. Yeah. Alright. And then, uh. Some, gonna get forced to do some research. And then uh, one of the other games that I played before that I found out was on Game Pass is a beautiful game called Journey to the Savage Planet. I actually thought about playing that. I just never brought myself around to do it. It looks good. Space, I will tell you now. Big warning giant fucking meme fest fair enough okay y space you want to know what the first and only dlc i've seen that game have and what its name is <sighs> go ahead and lay it out they literally named their first dlc hot garbage <laughs> <laughs> Why? Look up Journey to the Savage Planet. I believe it only has one DLC. And I fucking love the name of it. Yeah, Journey to the Savage Planet. And I believe its only DLC is Hot Garbage. Which I fucking love so much. You know the fucking devs had a fucking... I on... I wonder what the fucking... Oh my god. It's still offline. I want to know what the board meeting was. To figuring out what the name of their DLC should be. They probably couldn't think of anything, so they're just like, you know, this is just a giant meme fest, or just hot garbage, so let's just call it hot, hot garbage, and just leave it at that. Like, I honestly, I want to know what the fucking, what the names were going to be for the DLC, and then they just so happen to just stick to hot garbage. Because I know me and, uh, me and Moose, we played it a bit, and I think I ended up getting the Hot Garbage DLC. Because I think the Hot Garbage DLC gave us the upgrade, I think, of infinite stamina. Mm. So his game has apparently completely bugged out. 
Is there a reset that's about to happen? I don't believe so. He's tried loading in three times. What does it say when he tries to sign in? Error. Uh, at that point, I would probably just look up the error code. It should give an error code. Modules will make you I would just look up the error code on the internet. I can finally fucking enhance this one. What's what's it gonna take to fully max out uh -huh. this module? Okay. Okay, so it's a hundred and three thousand hyper shards, which uh, what thirty. Like maybe thirty three. It's Georges every time. Hmm. Yeah, with that one, we need to call it a quits on that one. Uh, uh, let me see. I guess since the game is fucking with him, do you want to pick up where we last left off in boulders and try to get back where we were? Mm, sure. Okay. Uh, could I leave the decision up to you? Uh, should I stream it or not? Because I just got out to the point where we're just playing catch up and I just wasn't streaming. Should I stream it? Okay. Yeah, that's fun. Okay, yeah, I'll stream it then. Alright, I'll go ahead and end this one then. This is Jack Mayhem. Good night and good morning.